This class is Le Nishmas Rachalev Asuf Chaim Tzvi, and we continue our quest to be better people, more civil people, more grateful people, happier people, people with more derecheretz, people with good manners. And that's precisely our subject for today. Good manners truly do matter. The Chazal teach us, Kadma derecheretz, uh, the derecheretz, respect, uh, good manners, being a mensch, precedes the Torah itself. In other words, God could imagine the world for hundreds of years, for thousands of years without the Torah, but he could not imagine it without common decency, without politeness, without good manners. And we have to understand right from the very beginning that good manners means far, far more than just uh, saying please and thank you. It means certain rudimentary ideas of treating other people like a mensch. Uh, There is a neighborhood in, in, in a certain city in the Upper East of, New- of America, the Eastern Seaboard, let's say, uh, where there is standard operating procedure to double park, to triple park. That's fund- fundamentally not good manners. If someone double parks, triple parks, what they're saying is, I, I, just a minute, just a minute, I'm just running in and out. So they expect the whole block to wait for them as they're going into a store. That means you're concerned about yourself and you're not thinking about other people. A person with their charitz, a person with good manners would never do such a thing cutting in a line. And um, I hate to say this, but uh, the good thing we said last week is we started thinking about these subjects we have to improve, and I'm taking this to heart also. I mean, ever since I started thinking about this, I have not cut, I think, at the Brooklyn Bridge. It's so tempting at the last minute just to cut in on other people, but what you're doing is people are dutifully waiting their turn in line, and you see who you are, and you're cutting in. It's probably, it could be a chil Hashem, it's certainly not their hair to cut the line, or to cut the line in the supermarket, wherever you may be, Fun, around the fun, fundamental derecheretz means to respect a line. Uh, not to think that our time is more important than other people's times. Derecheretz would also be hold us, be, require us to stand up for someone on a train, on a bus, who's elderly, someone who's pregnant. Show that decency to get up for someone who's more needy than you may be. And also, when you act with people to treat someone as a, a journalist once called it, treat them as if they really matter as if they really matter. That would be a worthwhile idea. Even those people that we disagree with, we should be just to, certainly we should be fair about. Fair and not unjust. Make other people feel also that we show them we appreciate them and that we respect them. And uh, I wish I knew a, a specific way of saying this, but even those people whose ways have to part, like a couple who's undergoing a divorce, I think it's conveying extremely unpleasant message to children if parents who divorce speak in such venom about their former spouse, uh, what kind of message is that giving to children, showing by people they once loved, and how they now act with such uncivility? So we can call, call from Chazal some very important lessons in how we are to treat other people. First of all, we learn out from Mishle, it says in Proverbs, The ways of, of God are are ways of peace, and all its ways are pleasant. You have to make sure what you're doing is pleasant. Once it's not pleasant, indeed the Gemara says, Chazal say that if you, we know that a certain question the Gemara has to Shaila, what would be an appropriate uh, hadasim? What would be appropriate leaf? And so maybe one plant would be appropriate, but it had these pointy, pointy uh, leaves where you could actually cut your finger from them. So it can't be. It can't be that you know a mitzvah, you can get a cut your finger from it, because the ways of Torah are peaceful and they're pleasant. And if they're pleasant, the Kevin Mitzvah is going to be unpleasant like that. That's not the ways of Torah. What's the proper way to act, says in Pirkei Avos? Whatever brings credit to yourself and esteem to other people. And also it says in Pirkei Avos, in the third parak, that one spirit of one's fellow is pleased with him, then the spirit of God. If people are pleased with the person, that means God is pleased. It's a very good barometer. If people are going to be happy with the way you conduct yourself, it's a pleasant way, then God will be happy as well. Now, there's an example which I'm always reluctant to quote, but it's a very good one, and that is when Talmud Rebbe Kiva died, the longest period of mourning in the Jewish calendar. Now, think about this. 24,000 students perished all because Lenagul covered Zebuza didn't afford respect. And far be it from me from anyone to criticize these great scholars. But one lesson we must derive from this, which is you cannot convey Torah if you don't 
have respect one person to another. They can't be the ones who are going to transmit the lessons of the Torah. And the interesting example is that even during the Holocaust, when you would appro- uh, imagine at such difficult times when everyone has to pe- uh, pull, pull themselves together, but even in the Warsaw Ghetto, there were two different groups because they could not ideologically get together and their lives were on the line. They were fighting for survival. They didn't have a chance and even there there was discord because of two ideologies. Uh, one was founded by the social Zionists, one was founded by the revisionist, revisionist Zionists. Okay, there's an anecdote in the Talmud which tells us about an interesting thing. The Gemara tells a story, this is in Elam Metziah, in the second chapter in the Bar Metziah, that Marzit was staying at an inn and a silver cup was stolen 